Hey everybody, I'm Dr. Joel Parker and this is Whiteboard Wednesdays, your weekly veterinary practice management pulse of information. Uh, we're going to carry on in the client satisfaction, customer care vein here just with a quick little talk on customer satisfaction versus client delight. Okay, one of them leaves the client like that, which is okay. One of them leaves them like this, which they are emanating the experience for all others to see. It's like going to a great restaurant or a great service center where you've been really well taken care of and you come out and you emanate that to people that you run into. A couple on the action steps. Number one is the client's always right. We've gone over that before and the fact of the matter is these days with all the reviews that are possible and so forth, one must strive to take care of clients in any way which way they can. There is the odd time where you're going to have to fire a client but they are extremely rare. Uh, there are so many more things that you can do in terms of talking problems over with clients but the bottom line is make sure that no client leaves your practice unhappy. You should work it through to a point might take some time. Secondly here, on the action steps, client problems. They no longer are there as the minute they walk into your practice. Get the idea that they walk into your practice, their problems shift off their shoulders, whether it's pet problems or behavioral problems with the pets or whatever that is, it shifts over onto you and your staff. And this is where you got to get your staff together in your weekly staff meetings to talk about what that really is. That comes right down to greeting the client when they come in and just being right there to help them. It comes right down to how you answer the phone and are you welcoming? Do you feel like talking to the receptionist as the receptionist is truly interested in the client. Comes to write down what they're like in the exam room, uh, leaving with bags of food, anything you can possibly do to help them. If the client has a problem with delivery of food, then you would work that out to have it delivered. Anyways, lots of things to expand and create on that. The fact of the matter is the client's always right. They walk into your practice. Their problems are no longer theirs. They're yours. You take care of them. And finally here, strive to under-promise and over-deliver. Now, under-promising would be if you're going to give a quote, you would wouldn't give a quote for uh, $200 when it's a $400 job. You would give a quote for $500 and then what you would do then is give them the actual bill for $375 or four. So you're going to come in under your quote. That's always good. That's called under promising and over delivering. And that's been a, a business maximum that has been around for years. And you look at any of the great retailers and great restaurants, that's what they strive to do. I think the key point here is that this is an ongoing affair. This over, uh, under promising, over delivering. How do we over deliver? How do we end up with client delight so that they like this and this is something that is ongoing that you're talking about on a weekly basis during your staff meetings who's the staff member of the week one of the things I routinely do with our clients that come for their executive training program is I like to ask them you know how did my staff take care of you are you taking care of they always say yes we have great staff here right Dylan yeah awesome staff we love you guys but importantly I ask Who's the one that stands out above and beyond? And it's inevitably some person that's really gone out of their way. For example, we had one of our course room supervisors buy a client mittens one year because it was cold here in Vancouver. We have uh, our, our staff like to find you hotels that are close, you know, so that you have walks along the water through the dog parks. Think about your clients. What can you do above and beyond to help them so that you're under promising, over delivering, and they leave with client delight versus just simple satisfaction? Okay guys, pretty simple concept this week. Again, part of the Client Satisfaction series here in Whiteboard Wednesdays. I'll see you next week. Thanks very much. If you have any questions, please post them on our Facebook or on the, on the, uh, on the uh, question and answer part down below. You'll see it on our YouTube channel. Please subscribe. But we would love to hear from you. Uh, again, you'll find that VPS has our own Facebook site. Please make sure you go and like us and then post whatever comments you want on there. Love to hear from you. Okay guys, thanks a lot. We'll see you next week.